Okay. Playing the OG Ratchet and Clank. OG. I'll play Sly Cooper at some point, and I'll play like Jack and Daxter at some point. In other games. I didn't like the remake so much. I do like the OG version though. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Whoa, I forgot. To the Gadgetron help desk. We I forgot they did this. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The help desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Get all the bolts. Captain Quirk. Quark.
Megatron's Omni Ranch 8000 includes a new comic strip. To activate it, use the R1 button to crouch, and then press the square button. That's nanotech. No matter you sustain injury, let Gadgetron's patented nanotech system rebuild your body from the inside out. Almost fell. I forgot how to strafe in this, in this game. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... He's the real villain of, the, of the first game. Our planet has become Not so nefarious, by the way. ...and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, oh, turn it off, you idiot! Hmm. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal.
This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny... You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. We crashed. Uh, Clank? Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Hi there, fuzzball. Nope.
Oh, that's a secret area. Bridges Swiss cheese. I bet if I had more time to stream, I can do this in one sitting. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. So, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Oh. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the select button to bring up the map and land your ship. It's marked with a star. I get that flamethrower now. Let's get that flamethrower. I got some great bargains for you today. Cool. 
cool. Probably not. Point of going down here. Oh, what a waste. I got bolts, I guess. How's it going, Belmont? I'm playing the OG uh, Ratchet and Clank. Not the, not the stupid remake. Her one. Gotta collect all the bolts. Uh, of course it is. That's fine. I fixed my PNG tubing avatar. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge.
Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're fucked. I think this is where we learn skills. Yep, charming. At some point, I'll play Sly Cooper and whoop, dang it, and Jack and Daxter in that series as well. You can use this outline if you stand under the water and jump. There's a lot more Ratchet and Clank games though. Yeah, Sly Cooper was my favorite out of the three. Then Jack and Dax, or then Ratchet and Clank, and then Jack and Daxter. There's a Sly Cooper Easter egg in Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, that's cool. I haven't played that yet. I own it, but I haven't played it. Finish the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> but that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed here, to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. True. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can
can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron Swing Shot. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones in the bottom. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button. Supposed to go, or I think we're done here actually. Yeah, we are. Five hundred for the. To click and center the camera, just tap oh the shit! I remember this was hard in the remake. Good thing she's not a main character, like a main reoccurring character. This was harder in the remake. I didn't like the remake that much. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot was much harder for me though. change the story which kind of I hate when they do that get back here Yeah, they made a remake. It was awful. They changed the story. It's Al. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, 
Do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Uh, I'm never gonna get that blaster. Hey, wait. No, it's it, it's a terrible remake. <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. They change it to where Nefarious is the main character or the main villain, which is not true in this game. Try using the helipad's boost jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. Stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. It's over here. Okay. Yeah, Nefarious was not the main care main villain in this first game. I don't even remember if he was the main villain of the second game. I know the Ferris came in like later. Yeah, and I know, I don't know, they, they just didn't need to make it. If anything, just keep the core gameplay of it. Maybe just upgrade the graphics. Remakes are supposed to keep the same story, but upgrade everything else. Plus they added like a weird obstacle course scene. Whoops. And also I think it was meant to promote the the movie. Which I didn't care for it. The movie was just meh. I know they canceled a movie.
Choo choo. Hover train. Whoa! Did not know I was going to do that. This is going to be hard if uh, this train turns a lot. At the info bot. Or not. Pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting. I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. I'm short. Like four hundred ish. So I can't buy the blaster yet. And I've collected every every bolt. I accidentally hit that. I forgot triangle was like cancel a lot of was like the cancel button for a long time. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. 
Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Destroy planet. God, imagine being in, like, this kind of world. Where you can, like... Uh... I mean, Ratchet made a spaceship with just his Ratchet, and... I mean... Imagine, like, being in a world like this, where space travel is, like, so easy to do. Um, there's, like, many different species of aliens and animals. to get past the security door. Unfortunately, our scans do not show a trespasser available on this planet. Okay, I have the money. I <gasps> some great bargain Glove there. of Doom. Glove of Doom was my favorite. As soon as that, that was it. Oh, there's the bolt. How do I get that? That didn't work.
They should have made more uh, like Cooper games and Jack and Daxter games. And I'm not talking about like Jack X. I mean like, you know, Died. Like they can make more Jack games and Sly Cooper games. And I'm not talking about Bentley's hacking game. this dead. Again. Killed it. He killed the robot that was in his way. Glove of Doom yet. Do I? No, I don't. I don't know why I'm getting Glove of Doom ammo, even though I don't have the Glove of Doom yet. I'm 
getting there yet. Getting there. That was easy. Sweet. Suck cannon. cannon. Multiple enemies, then fire them out as high caliber missiles. Caution. Enemies must be small enough to fit inside the barrel. I have a trophy for that that says very sucky. Uh, I didn't get an info bot. Did not get to the that boss. You'll need a Gadgetron Trespasser to get past this security door. Unfortunately, our scans do not show a Trespasser available on this planet. Hmm. Oh, dang it. Yes, according to the map, I should be going in there. Oh well. I got the suck cannon, so it's all good.
Visit the waterworks. Okay, you're too big. It. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An info bot. Ratchet, we could use that. I think it's only 500. Slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Probably all the space weed.
Geronimo. I got some great parts. Here we go. It's funny how uh, Rat or uh, Clank just casually jumps in. I got some... Cannon doing its job. wondering how I missed. I curved the bullet in the wrong way.
Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the... No signal whatsoever! This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no oh, time snap. for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. Oh, there's Skid. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but. I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... Shh. One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. Mm, suck all the sand sharks. Right, I'm trying to open like a like a snack. It's like not cooperating though. He's it like uncooperative snack wrappers. Okay. Suck them up. Oh, come on. Suck him up.
You know, the pyro flamethrower will work. Got it. Here, man. Catch. A brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City on Planet Real Garden. How do I get to there? I don't remember. Glove of Doom. These guys were the best. Use my swing shot. Where? Oh. Okay. like the animation of the swing shot. It felt good.
Oh, almost fell off the edge. Trespasser. Yes. Using the latest in precision laser technology, the Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Invinso lock security doors. Lasers are mounted on each ring of the Invinso lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them green. All receptors must be green before the invincible. Cool. Oh, shit. Can't get those. Here we go.
Okay. Lieutenant. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind Boot Tester, Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Okay. Explore the space station. and Clank can split up into two spots, two people. Hi there, Fuzzball. Haunter. I can buy that.
Oh. Died. Anybody remember the game uh, Secret Agent Plank? That was also kind of bad. At least I thought so. Yes. You have just activated the gadget. To command a gadget, hold down the triangle button and select wait, follow, attack, or enter. Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses Insta Faucets and Insta Drains. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. I'm back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, uh, uh, What is it? What is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those, I guess. Did you know you can place any gadget or weapon on your quick select? Just pause and choose quick select from the menu. The shuttle has an autopilot which will take you to a decommissioned large warship. Our scanners indicate that there may be useful technology on board.
Jeez. Frogs almost killed me. There we go. I don't know how I got through that. cutscene to it.
Oh, Gadgetron. Fender. Jeez. took like three bites out of me and I didn't even do anything yet. Big bolt. These had the, the big bolt were for like weird cheats, I guess. Hi there, fuzzball. Boss time. Oh, 
Oh. Stop. Dang it. Oh my god, I'm back here again. God dang it. Back off. Oh my god. I got some great bargains for you today. Oh, that's a nice one. What? Oh my god, seriously though. The smaller ones were more of an issue.
thought I was a goner this time. Some nano-wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented grind boots. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Well, That's thanks. I'm okay. gonna get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boots. Grind boots let you travel on rails like this. Just jump onto the rail and grind. Cool. How do I get there? doesn't open.
Push the shiny red button. Thank you for selecting our automated self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings. I get the info box? I don't remember. It happened so fast. Oh, I, I get it. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Cork will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, <laughs> this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Did you oh, she that? did. Yes, I hope that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine, I think. I was talking about the hoverboard races. I got some great. Okay. I think I'm going to end it here for now. I'll play more next time. This feel it's feel real good to get